Hey guys, it's Ben with Myers Woodshop. Today I have two Prusa printers in front of me. These are 3D printers. This is the SL1 resin printer and this is the CW1. This is the wash and cure. So I've done a lot of printing over my years, but I've never done resin printing. This is my first resin printer. I went all out for the first one because I love Prusa machines so much. So I spent $1,700 on this kit of my own money to see if it was worth it. So I did a live unboxing and assembly of these things. So if you want to see that, you can check out my other videos. It was three and a half hours long. So if you want this machine, it's probably going to be really interesting to you. If you don't want one of these machines or you don't know if you do, watch it at 2x in the background because it's a really long video. So I'm going to go over in this video at the end of that video, it was starting its first print. So this video is going to show off the first print of this machine, how I washed and cured it, and the total outcome. When the printer finishes, it auto shuts off. So I've let this drip dry for a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and put on the gloves. Anytime you're working with this resin, you absolutely want gloves. And they give you the Prusa orange gloves. And I like to have a lot of paper towels on hand. So we're gonna just connect from the power while we're over here, because it's in our way. And we're gonna open the top and now you can see the resin vat down below and the resin up top. So we're gonna come over here and get this plastic piece that goes around the outside. That protects the machine so we don't drip any resin where it shouldn't be. And we could ruin the LCD screen. We have this plastic spatula that works. We're gonna take it and just slide all of the resin that formed up on top and push it off to the side because we don't want that resin. We want to reuse every drop we can, of course, because resin is, is expensive. So we try to get all we can off like that. Now I'm going to take it, loosen here, I'm going to turn it on its side. I'm going to try to scrape the back of it too. Get all that resin. So I'm gonna kind of turn it on its corner, let it drip dry the best we can. Put it back on here just for the temporary minute. Get a paper towel. We're gonna just wipe off the top. I'm gonna move it over to the side so I don't drip it anywhere where it shouldn't be. Wipe off any excess we got. So then we're gonna move it over to that cure and washer. All right, so we're in front of the washer. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna take this off here. We're gonna take off that. And what we need to do is fill it up with some isopropyl alcohol. Now you're gonna place this down. It's got a little ball on the bottom. That's going down on the inside like that. And I have some isopropyl alcohol here that I cannot get in gallon form. All right, once we have it filled basically to the top, we're gonna take it and we're gonna place it right along here. And we're gonna take our top and this is a push button. You can see it kind of releases in here. Okay, once you have your resin filled, uh, not up to the top, maybe about here, because you can see you're only going to go down so far. You want to go ahead and put your print in, and we'll close the lid. We're going to turn it on, and we have start washing. So we'll push the button for start washing, and we have 3 minutes and 57 seconds of washing. 
we can lift it up and I'll show you. It's going to spin this part, and I'll take the print out. So you can kind of see what it's doing. See, it's kind of creating a whirlpool in there. We'll put the print back in. And we'll wait 3 minutes and 16 seconds. Okay, so it just beeped and finished. You can change the amount of time you're washing it with the dial, but we left it with the, the standard amount. So here's our print. The print has been washed and so has the printing platform. So it recommends washing it and rinsing everything off with uh, water. So I'm going to go in the house, rinse it with water, and then I'll come back out and show you how we cure it. So far, that's what our little army of Joseph Prusas look like. It's pretty cool. Okay, so I went ahead and rinsed it off inside. So all we're going to do now is remove the vat with all the alcohol. And now we have two options. We can cure it just like this which is probably what I'm going to do. There's no sense. Or you can take them off and put it on the rotating platform. It's better to do it closer to the edge. But these are so small, it's going to fly off. So I'm just going to do it this way. We'll close the lid. And we have a start curing. And I'm going to go ahead and click on curing. And now the UV light is on inside. You don't want to open this because it will harm your eyes or harm everything else. But I can tell I can see a little bit of purple and blue around the corner. So I know it's curing correctly. So it's a three minute cure. So we'll just wait. You can see the degree Celsius. It's 20.7 right now. So we'll wait three minutes. Okay, so it just beeped. It let me know it was finished so we can open it up. And we now are cured. We can touch it and feel if it's sticky. Now I still have gloves on. So let me take my glove off. Three minutes is a good amount of curing for everything, but if it's sticky, we can go ahead and run the cure cycle as many times as we need. And I think it's cured pretty well. I don't feel anything sticky. Eh, maybe a little sticky. Let's go ahead and run it one more time. Okay, it just finished. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. This was the second cure time. We probably didn't need it, but we're going to give it a go anyway. We, what can hurt? It definitely feels dry. So... They're kind of bendy, and I don't want to break it off. So usually, we're going to use a spatula, and we're just going to come at a corner, slide it underneath, peel them right off, and put that right here. So here is our army of little Joseph Prusas. They turned out really really good if you can see them there this guy's little hat his glasses his hand up his little hands are up the quality is really good it's really flexible which is nice uh, as a put whoop <laughs> and then they're made to snap apart into individuals so let's snap uh, I snapped off his body. I snapped his little body off. The little platform. Go ahead and snip. Each one. And now we have an individual... Individual little guy. You can see that? See his little glasses and his little hands? It's cool. So these essentially are like playing pieces for board games. I intend to create my own self and my friends and we're going to do it in different colors and then we have our own playing pieces for all the board games we like to play. So that's how you use the curing station. All right, we're back at our resin. We need to take care of our resin. We need to put it somewhere. So we'll take off our 
plastic cover. And I have a silicone mat here. I'm gonna unscrew these all the way. I'm gonna lift that up. I'm gonna take our lid, push that in, and remove our top. Our resin bottle. We'll open it up. So there you have it. That was the first print of my little Joseph Prusa army. They came out really good. I showed you the up close of these little guys. And it's really hard to portray how awesome it is, especially how little they are um, on video if you don't see it yourself. I can't see, I'm so used to layer lines. Like when you look at something, you can almost tell it's 3D printed. You cannot tell these are 3D printed. It is crazy how awesome this is. So let me go over the pros and cons of the resin printing versus regular filament printing. One pro is that the quality is unmatched. You cannot get this quality from a filament printer. Won't happen. Another pro is it's super quiet and it does pretty much everything in the background. I don't have to monitor it and it just prints. Another pro of this machine is that it keeps moving the bed after every print. That keeps the resin kind of moving, so it's not a stagnant. It gives it a high quality, or high quality print. Also, the LCD screen, the wireless and network capabilities. You can check this print um, from anywhere using the internet. You don't have to use Octoprint with it. It's got it built in is pretty amazing. If you do get one of these, I definitely recommend the washer. It is a process to wash this stuff. That is definitely a con. It sucks to have to take everything out and wash it. In a normal filament printer, basically you just take the print off and you start a new one. There's no washing, there's no smell, eh, there may be a little bit of smell, but not like this. There's no uh, sticky fingers if you, you don't need gloves. You definitely need gloves for this and it takes probably 10 to 15 minutes it, hopefully it'll get faster the more i do this but it took about a good 15 minutes to wash everything and clean everything out and get ready for the next print with a different color if you're going to print stuff immediately afterwards there's no washing really of this machine in between uh just washing of your prints but if you're going to print one-offs it's going to take way more time to clean every time. So that is a huge downfall of, of just resin printing, not this printer, just resin printing. But this little machine makes things way faster, cleaner, and speedier, as in it does both really fast and in a really nice organized Prusa way, high, like a high quality way. One other con of resin printing in general is the cost of the material. So Prusa's jars are about $60. You can find some on Amazon, and I'll list some below that I found that I have on order, I just haven't printed with, that are about $30 to $40 for a jar, to equal to about $20 on the filament I've been buying, the Hatchbox filament that has been really good for my printing. So you are gonna cost more per print in this machine. One positive about resin printing is that you can print across the whole bed. If you print one little guy, or you print a ton of little guys, it doesn't matter how much, it's just how deep you're printing, because if you print one little guy, it has to print that layer over and over and over for the distance of and the height of the little guy. And if you go wider, it doesn't matter, it's taking that same amount of time to print. On a normal 3D printer that uses filament, it's going to take a long time to do all of them. But on a resin printer, the more you can fit onto that bed, the better, because it's going to take the same amount of print. It's just how deep it's going to go. So that's a positive about this printer. I can print a whole army that fills the whole bed in the same amount of time as if I printed one little guy. So I hope this video has helped you decide if resin printing is right for you, especially if the Prusa is worth the money for you guys. I love my Prusa machine, and that's why I've pre-ordered the Mini, which is hopefully coming soon, and I'll do a video about that. And this SL1, I got it during Black Friday. They offered free shipping, plus an extra bottle of resin, which was enough to push me over to go ahead and buy it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave that down below. Hit a thumbs up if you like this video. Hit a thumbs down if you don't. I don't care. 
I just wanted to get the information that I have out for you guys to see if it's worth it or not. So let me know in the comments down below. If you like these videos, please subscribe. Remember to hit that ring and you'll get notified when I go live or do any other videos and I put them out. So thanks for watching my channel. I really appreciate you guys, especially my patrons. If you want to do that, you can sign over at my Patreon page. The link's down below. It helps me afford things like this so I can buy them and show off cool stuff. So there's links down below to a lot of the things I use. Buying from that doesn't increase your cost, but it does give me a little kickback and it's an affiliate link. It also helps me buy cool stuff. I hope to buy another resin printer to show that off to you guys to see if it's worth spending the money on this or buying a $250 one on Amazon. So if you're gonna buy anything, click the links down below. It doesn't cost you any more money, but it gives me a little kickback so I can do more videos. So I really appreciate you watching. I hope this video helped you guys out and happy printing. Freaking bug.